Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to inset polygons using VEX. You can find the code and an example file on my Procygen website. The link is in the description and there's also a link to my Patreon page. All right, let's start off in a new scene. In a geometry container, we are going to create the pick hat and set it to easy. That way we see better what we're doing. So first of all, we would like to make the polygons not share any points with each other. So let's create a facet node and set it to unique. So now, as you can tell by the point numbers, they are double now. And by the faceted look, you can also tell that each polygon is separated. If you need another proof, just use the explode node. All right, in an attribute wrangle, we would now first try to identify the two neighbors each point has. So let's set up an array that's called NBS and the neighbors function would provide just that based on our geometry stream and our point number. Each point now has these two neighbors stored in the array. If you want to quickly see that in action, you would type I brackets at NBS and remove the other brackets and you see each point has its neighbor point numbers. I don't really need to see that, so let's switch it back. Next, I want to find out their positions. So position zero would be the point position of the first neighbor, that's the first entry of my NBS array. And we just copy that line and also do the same for position one and the NBS one, which is the next entry. In order to make our inset work, we not only need the positions of these neighbor points, but also the direction towards these points. So let's just type vector direction zero would be the normalized subtraction of our current position V at P minus position zero. And you guessed right, the direction one to position one as well. Now we do not want to move our points in either of these directions, but their average direction. So that would be a diagonal line towards the center of this polygon, roughly speaking, like that. And to calculate the average, we could either use the normalized average or we could also add direction zero plus direction one. Next, we want to set up a parameter for the inset amount. So let's type channel float amount and call the wrangle inset. Next, we need the half sign called float A to calculate the amount we're going inside. So this would, be, would differ depending on the directions, depending on the angle we need um, multiplier for our amount or inset amount and this can be calculated by the square root of 1.0 minus the dot product of direction 0 and direction 1 divided by 2.0. Now let's see whether this works. So we would subtract from our current position the average direction multiplied by A multiplied by the amount. As soon as we click on this button, we should get a slider and see the change. If you want to visually remove the back faces, just hit, hit D in the viewport, go to the optimize tab and say remove back faces. All right, thank you for watching.